we understand that when it comes to, you know, mechanics and medicine and so on, but most people don't understand that that rule applies when you're talking about, you know, spirituality. They say, oh, the soul, the spirit. Well, just like the body is made up of many, many systems, you know, digestive system, respiratory system, et cetera, et cetera, and each system is made up of different organs, and each organ is made up of different, you know, um, types of tissues and things like nature, and each type of tissue is made up with different, different kinds of cells. You see that? So the same way the spirit is made up of different faculties, and these faculties, you know, have sub-faculties and so forth. And there's a, there's a side, you know, of spiritual teaching that has identified the structural components of the spirit. Yes, you heard me right. Meaning the spirit has structural components. And ancient cultures were able to identify, you know, all of them because the same way, you know, um, your physical body has a finite number of fat of of organs, so does your cell has a finite number of faculties, parts. Mm -hmm.